Hey everyone, welcome back to the second day of bootcamp. We are visualizing Python in Power BI, like Python visuals in Power BI. Okay, so if you have missed the previous session, like please go and watch it. It's like we, I have designed, I have created a violin chart in Power BI with a scenario. Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to draw a rich line plot, how to create a rich line plot in Power BI with a scenario and a clear explanation. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed here so please go and subscribe for the continuous uh, uh, technology information so this is the today's uh, scenario we are going to discuss so there is a annual sales review if you want to conduct an annual sales review a company is conducting an annual sales review of its sales performance analyzing how sales are distributed across different months of the year this is one of the scenario okay you just you can relate if you want to find the seasonality okay so for example uh, you can understand how this um, uh, how varied it is like how these things are happening you can just uh, go with the seasonal business like the business seems to have a seasonal variations in sales in the sale which common in many industries such as fashion tourism or consumer electronics you can find when the sales are happening in the high level and when it is going down okay so this ridge line you can use it for many uh, many use cases and scenario let us try to design a ridge line plot okay for this you should have installed like you should have installed python in your system this is the first requirement okay so first you have to fulfill the first requirement is what you should have installed python in your system and the second requirement is what you should have configured python uh, you should have configured Python in in Power BI. Okay, Con Python configuration in Power BI that has to be completed. That is, I have uh, uh, I have instructed how to do that in the introduction video. Okay, and the third one is you have to um, select the data. That is, I have used the sample data in the Power BI. Okay, sample Power BI data, which is a sample data. So I have I am using that you can install this. This is what the requirement. If you want to understand how this uh, um, violin chart works, you can go ahead and watch that as well. So on the right side, you can see this is all the data which I have, and I'm going to create a ridge line plot for this. So for that, you have to first inst uh, you have to first um, connect your Python. Okay, either uh, if you can click here and go ahead and use Python. This is the Python visual which we have. So click on that Python, you will be getting a screen like this. So this is the script editor where we will be writing the Python code and the visual will appear here on the top. OK, so let's just start writing it. Before writing it, you should select what is the uh, what are the essential columns for you? OK, you have to select that. I want the sales because I have to analyze the sales. I want the month name and the month number. OK, I want to do all these things here. So this is what I have. Uh, I have selected. Once you have selected all these columns, you can find the relevant columns which are which are appearing here. So here you can find that all the columns which we have selected sales, month name and month number will be here. Just understand you should not delete this. OK, you are not supposed to delete this. You have to write the code below this. OK, and the second uh, requirement is what if you wanted to create anything, you have to uh, install the relevant Python library or the Python package. Okay, for this particular code, I wanted to install joyplot. Okay, I need three things. One is a matplotlib, pandas and the joyplot. So here you have to go ahead and type pip install joyplot, joypy. Okay, joypy. So where we have the rich, rich line plot. And then you can just come back to your Python and you can start typing the code. So I'm just typing import matplotlib dot so you should be very careful dot pi plot uh, that is a python plot as plot so i'm just giving as a plot okay um so you have to give properly here and then import joy pi and uh, so so that is the one so i cannot use joy pi it's a from okay from joy pi i wanted to import joy plot okay so I want to input specifically a joy plot. So I'm just giving it. So your data set is already there in the data. Okay. So what I will be doing it is what 
data is equal to data set dot sort um, sort underscore values this is a actually a, a function okay so this is actually a function in your joy uh, in your uh, uh, pandas okay so you can just use this so i want to first sort the number in the chronological order okay so on what basis i'm just sorting it i'm just sorting it based on the number so i have month number you have to give a proper space and everything okay so i'll be explaining this so don't worry just press enter and the next one is what you have to plot the figure right so plt dot uh, figure if i g u r e so you have to tell the fix size okay figure size what is the size you want so if you just mention the size it will be good and i want to create a joy plot okay joy plot dot uh, sorry so you can just tell what is that ridge line so it's joy plot we are uh, using a ridge line to draw it so joy plot and inside that i want to pass the parameters okay data is equal to where i'm just getting it i'm just getting the data from the um, uh, data set okay so data comma and just press enter and by is equal to um, month name okay and then you can just mention comma column is equal to sales so i am using a column sales and then you can just go ahead with kind is equal to k d e okay so i am just using a proper uh, uh, what kind of uh, 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 plot i just want to draw and then just put comma fill is equal to true i want to fill that plot and then comma you can just use overlap is equal to 0 0.5 so i'll just tell you like where this overlaps and everything is working line width is equal to one and then fade is equal to true okay and uh, finally here i'm just mentioning you can just write it even here as well okay so i just won't don't want to confuse by writing it here so that's why i did it so this is a one so joy plot data is equal to data somewhere i think i missed something so sales okay so yes so we have just created something here and then next plt dot title so if you want to give some title rich line plot of sales distribution okay and then plt dot x label what is the x label you wanted to give um so that you can just assign and finally you have to give plt dot show okay let us just try to visualize this and if I so i have also inputted pandas as pd okay and then you can see um i this is to create a rich line plot so we have created some rich line plot here and this is like customizing the plot now you can see that the ridge line plot is created and this is how the ridge line plot looks like okay so here uh, what you can see is what what is actually the inference from this so the one thing you can find it here is what the uh, is what your distribution your ridge line curve okay so the sales distribution what is that the each line you know like this line you can see so here it has like changed it's it went up and then slowly down and you can see something here but um you can see some changes in this particular place right and in july you can see the curve doesn't went much up so it's like a normal one so here you can see that you can easily compare the sales pattern pattern across the month okay and here you can see that the september okay so september is going towards the peak and october is also and november also you had the peak of the sales and the width of each ridge indicates the spread of sales value okay wide ridges are suggest more variability in the sales of the month this one you know you can see how it actually goes okay and you can find the difference here you know like if you just um, zoom it little bit you know like there is here you can see a straight line but here there are since still there is there are some sales which is happening 
okay so you can see that here the sales ranges it is mentioned like this which is the x axis which shows the values ranging approximately 0.2 million to 1.2 million okay and most of amman shows a similar overall shape to their distribution with a main peak and some spread around it and some other months like april you can see that this is the april and you can see august okay have the larger deals um and on the lower end possibility so here you can see it's a, it's having a larger deals okay and the months with a higher peak like which uh, which um a uh, month you had a higher sales is what the september and the october okay all 12 months are represented with providing a full annual view of sales distribution so the here is where you can create a ridge line plot so ridge line plot you can find it or for uh, when to use it and if you want to compare something across the month or a year you can also do that okay so yes we have completed the ridge line plot this is the second day of the session so tomorrow we will be discussing about the lollipop chart okay so how to create a lollipop chart and what is the usage of that and everything so stay tuned come back tomorrow if you have any queries just leave your queries here and uh, if you want to prepare for your power bi interview that is a uh, e uh, tech uh, uh, ebook store you can just get it from that and if you have any queries uh, if you want to connect with me you can connect here the link is there in the description and i will be posting all these uh code everything in my uh in my channel so please you can just go ahead in my blog okay so i'll be leaving that link as well in the comments so you can watch it there thank you take care bye bye i'll meet you soon with the next in tomorrow session okay